it's me ex Canadensis, and for today's video we are going to be doing an unboxing and review of this beautiful Cure Grace doll from the Precure Style Series doll line and this is a character from Heal and Good Pretty Cure if you haven't seen that show yet and I'm really excited about her because I did start Heal and Good Pretty Cure and I ended up um, putting like a hiatus on watching it because I've been focusing on Tropical Rouge which is so good by the way but I'm excited to get back to watching Healing Good and I think opening this doll today is gonna help me kind of get the courage to do it because I love the art style and the color story of Healing Good so much I think it's so precious so anyways I have a bunch of these pretty Cure style dolls behind her as you can see and I actually only have one from Healing Good I have Cure Sparkle back there so I'm really excited to add another one to my collection and if you look there there's actually a blank spot next to Cure Sparkle that I've already reserved for this doll like I haven't even put anything there yet um and this is what she looks like in the box mine is actually in really good shape in her box but I'm not worried about if I want an inbox one I'll be able to find another one pretty easily and I don't think I'm gonna want one but anyway these are made by Bandai this is a really cute little picture of Cure Grace there's the logo for Healing Good Pretty Cure I believe this probably says like Cure Style pretty Pre-Cure Style or something I don't know and then you can see the doll in the box and she comes with her healing stick with Rabirine on it. I really wish they came with like a Rabirin figure. That would have been amazing, but I'm going to pronounce that name wrong always. So sorry about that. And that's what the side of the box looks like. The back of these boxes is always so fun to look at for me because, you know, it shows you different features of the outfit. It shows you how the, you can pose the doll. It shows you all the dolls here because, um, this is the three from the original part of the series, of course, before we get the fourth cure. This is showing, like, that's how big the doll is, and there she is next to the character. And I really appreciate this because it shows that they're proud of the attention to detail that they put in. And then, I guess it shows that maybe the leg will come off and you can put it back. I don't know. Anyway, I'm going to get her out of the box, and when we return, I'm going to show her off. Here is Cure Grace out of the box, and she's so cute. I honestly, as much as... Star Twinkle Pretty Cure is my favorite series, and I really love the Tropical Rouge art style. I have to say that I think the dolls were done best in the Heal and Good era of the dolls. Like, I just think they did the faces so well, and they just, like, they look exactly like the characters, and they look so cute. I think the eye style just really, really fits the face mold. So we're gonna start up at the top, of course, with the hair and face. So this is what Cure Grace's face look like. looks like. I just think it's really cute. And she has little green earrings. It's very simple. There's no makeup or anything, but these characters are meant to be quite young, so that's understandable. And if we move up, you can see her hair. I really love her hair. It is so ridiculously soft. I think it's saran hair, but don't quote me on that because I am not a good, like, I'm not a hair expert by any means. Her headband is really well done as well. It has that heart gem, the little leaves, and the yellow flower. It looks so good. And then if you look at the back of her hair, I'm going to zoom out again. Look how beautiful and curly it is. She doesn't come with a stand, by the way. This is a stand for my personal collection. She, all of these beautiful curls, just really really nice and she comes styled like this it's a little flat from being in the box of course but over time I'm going to be able to brush it and fluff it and it's gonna get out to where it needs to be and this hair is just ridiculously soft and my the craziest thing about these dolls for me is that their hair is this well styled and yet it's it doesn't have any styling product in it it's super super soft it just shows how much the creators care about the doll arriving home looking exactly like the character and it really really shines through. The outfit is so nice as well. It's mostly made out of satin which is probably my least favorite material in doll clothing but it's understandable for the look they were going for and this outfit actually has a lot less printed on details than a lot of them do. These dolls um, are definitely aimed at a younger demographic, so I feel like that's why they have so many printed on details, but I wish that they had less, and it seems like they might have raised the budget more recently because the dolls that come after Healing Good actually have, like, more detail going on in the outfits, but regardless, this is a very, very pretty outfit, and it's really well made, too, like, all of the different stitching details with the gathering at the sleeves and these actual trims here, and just the, the overall construction of the outfit is really nice. She has a little rosette here with a little tool thing to be like a little bow or like a tie or something and then she has this collar and as you can see the trims are printed on that's the thing that I don't like because it makes the outfit look very flat and cheap when I know these dolls aren't like cheaply made it's just I don't know I understand why they did it because it is cheaper and I really appreciate that this piece isn't printed on it's actually sewn so that it gives the outfit more dimensionality and this is a printed on trim printed on trim 
printed on trim, but this is an actual separate trim, which I really appreciate. She has these adorable little mittens on. I'm not the biggest fan of doll gloves generally. Um, these get the job done, but they just, they look more like mittens and it's very silly. The skirt has three different tiers to it. So first it has this little netted bit at the top and then it has the satin one that's clearly supposed to be two separate tiers, but they've made it into one by printing it on. Again, I'm not a big fan of that happening. And then it has this crinoline on the bottom, which is actually made very, very much like a crinoline. Um, very cute. I just call them poofy skirts. Sorry if crinoline is not the correct term for that specific type. Um, and then if we move down, we can see her shoes, which are really nice. And none of my dolls so far actually have shoes that are in this mold. At least not that I know of. I don't believe so. And they are really cute. I really like the green details on them because they they subtly pull that green from earlier on the headband back into the outfit. And I think they look really good. And then she also comes with her heel and stick. And this is so cute too. This is a very important thing in Pretty Cure, so I'm really glad that they give it the attention to, to detail that it deserves. I love all of the colors that they managed to give us. The back is undetailed, but you see that each one, each character has her own separate mold for these because they have to have their little character. So this one has Rabarin inside, of course, and we've got the different hearts. It's just a very nice piece, very well detailed and the gloves make it a little bit trickier to have the doll hold it, but overall it works quite well. Um, here she is actually holding it. And I like the amount of articulation these dolls have as well. It's kind of like if you know the Mattel Winx Club dolls, it's like that in the arms. It's like a Gumby almost. Do they just kind of move? They're very tight when you first get them, but they loosen over time. And then they have, I believe, click jointed knees. Yeah, they've got click jointed knees. Click joints aren't my favorite, but I kind of understand why they do them. They get the job done, um, and you don't have to see an unsightly joint. These dolls are so well made, and I really, really love them. They just... The hair specifically really does it for me. I feel like if their hair was not as soft and luxurious as it was, they probably wouldn't um, work for me as much. Um, I just noticed this little detail, too, in the top skirt, which matches in the show how there's, like, gathering... So I thought, I think that's a really sweet detail that they included. Um, I think this is a really, really nicely done representation of the character. There are some things that they clearly cut back on, but overall they did a really good job here. All right, next we're going to be putting her on the shelf. I want to show you her when she's like in, in her little habitat that she's going to stay Here's in. Here Grace on the shelf with the others. There's not really a lot of room for growth for my Healing Good dolls, but the other two from the set, Fontaine is my most wanted actually of all the Pretty Cure dolls that I don't have. They're actually remarkably hard to find for good prices. These two you can get pretty easily for like $10 and under. It is really shocking because these dolls are fantastic, but the other two are pretty tricky to find, but hopefully I can add them to my collection soon. I'm willing to pay more for them because I do like them a lot, but I think your sparkle turned out so good too though. Like look how precious that doll is. And I think these two look great in their little spot. I don't have a lot of healing good stuff. As you can see, I have the dolls, I have this little cup here, and then I have a like hand soap bottle or something. I'm not really sure what that is, but I love it. Um, all right, so that's it for this video, and I really love this pretty cure shelf, so I'm really excited to finally get Cure Grace on the shelf. Thank you guys so, so much for watching, and I'd love to know who your favorite character from Healing Good is and why. I haven't picked my favorite yet because I've only watched, I think, like 15 episodes. I really need to hurry up and, like, binge watch that. Anyways, thank you guys so, so much for watching for all this time. Bye!